Hi everyone, this is Satyam and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so first of all, how are you all? <laughs> we are meeting after quite some time. And yes, so today's video is all about biotechnology because the admission uh, session is going on. So I thought to come up with one such video because many of you have been asking me questions related to biotechnology, related to colleges, how to choose a college, what are the things to look for in a college and there are many uh, there are many such questions so i'll be answering each of them in this video and i'll be telling you seven points those seven points are the things uh, which you have to look for in a college while you are opting for bsc in biotechnology so let's get started quickly with the video so to begin with the video first of all while you are making up your mind to study bsc in biotechnology get to know about the subjects that you have to study and if you have uh, actual interest in studying those subjects as well as in research and experiments because biotechnology is not a subject which is just restricted to a classroom or lecture room uh, it is something related to working in labs and uh, like you know carrying out experiments and learning things these ways so if you are thinking that this is something where you can make notes mug up the subject pass and then you can get a job then this is not the thing uh, which is going to happen in case of bsc in biotechnology because bsc and further msc these are all research related lines and you get a job uh, of a scientist or maybe a research scholar or maybe like you know you have to work in labs wet lab practices are the kind of jobs that you get in case of biotechnology therefore you have to be thorough with the practicals you have to have the skills how you can work in labs how you can handle the equipment uh, learn about the subject before opting for it so the first thing that you have to keep in mind while you are searching for a good biotechnology college is infrastructure now why i'm saying infrastructure as the first point is that because <clears throat> you know uh, as i said this is not something related or restricted just to the classroom you have to have good labs in the colleges labs which are well equipped now there are plethora of equipments which are required which are required in uh, the practicals or the experiments related to bsc or msc in biotechnology i'll be showing you the equipments because back then when i was in my college i had uh, you know clicked a few pictures here and there uh, when i used to work in labs as you all know by now that uh, i have done biotechnology and i have worked on the projects of cancer and diabetic foot also so you know i used to work on different machines different equipments and i've taken the pictures so a lab should be well equipped with such kind of equipments such that you know how to handle them because later in life when you get a job again you get to handle such kind of equipment because you have to you know work on those and this will be the kind of job that you get so uh, this is point number one infrastructure pay attention to the infrastructure especially the labs go visit the college uh, have a tour of the you know lab which is related to biotechnology different departments and yeah so the second thing that comes to mind is that a biotechnology college should have a associated medical college now why i'm saying that because while we carry out the experiments you know sometimes blood samples sometimes different kinds of samples are required now where will the samples arrive from if there is an associated medical college then the flow of the samples will be very easy and it will be easily accessible to the students which will you know help them uh, in understanding how they have to exactly carry out a research project like the thing which happened with me when i was working on the diabetic foot ulcer project so you know uh, like quite often I required the blood samples of such kind of patients who were suffering from diabetic foot ulcer so as I have studied from Manipal University uh, in Manipal Karnataka so the associated medical college is Kasturba Medical College so all the samples used to flow in from Kasturba Medical College and there was no hindrance in carrying out the experiments or the research project and hence the whole process was smooth and I never had to worry like where will the samples come from so recently what happened uh, there is a student uh, he has been messaging me on my instagram that uh, like where do i collect the samples from because my college doesn't have a associated medical college or i don't know of any other you know resource so 
that's why my suggestion is like if you haven't taken admission as yet then look for such colleges which has an associated medical college such that you don't face such problem in future and if not a medical college then that college has a tie up with some source some labs from where the samples can flow in so yeah this is the second point third point is uh, the college should have a associated animal house also now animal house is a place where uh you know different kinds and different breeds of animals which are required in the research uh, they are kept and by artificial breeding they are further grown so and all these are with the permission of the government and by following all the rules and regulations uh so uh, now whenever we require any uh, you can say like mostly i have worked on albino mouse so whenever i require that i went to the animal house i registered my name i got the you know the albino mouse and i uh, took it back to the lab and whatever research was to be performed on that or whatever you know experiment or whatever was to be performed i like easily i easily did that because it was available to me so if you have the resources in place studying the subject bsc in biotechnology msc in biotechnology or further going on for research becomes very easy you know unnecessary struggles are not required because this subject in itself is uh, you know tough enough you can say because there is a lot of understanding you just cannot mug up and pass the subject you have to understand a lot and uh, the understanding of a particular concept will be used at later and later stages or you can say throughout till your phd and your job and everything so you know you just cannot mug it up so the struggle is real you have to study a lot in case of biotechnology so if you get assistance in case of samples in case of uh, equipments in case of animals or whatever is required to carry out a experiment or research or whatever uh, things becomes easier and there is no harm in it so moving on to the fourth point when you are taking admission in bsc biotechnology uh, you have to also look for the different kinds of research projects ongoing projects in the department so for that again before taking admission go visit the department of biotechnology in whatever university you are applying and then look for the kind of research projects which are ongoing and this way you will get an idea like the thing on which you want to work whether uh you know projects related to that are ongoing or not or uh, you know that is planned for future or not so this way uh, you will be able to uh, you know you will get a easier path and uh, you will be properly guided uh, by the professors and all so you have to look that research projects are going on because biotechnology again is not something that a lecturer comes to the lecture room gives lecture you make note learn give exam and done no this is not the thing the person who is coming to teach you should also be involved in certain kind of research project which is undergoing in the department and <clears throat> you know uh, which is undergoing in the department which has to end in the form of a uh, uh, you know a research paper which has to be presented at some national international forums so there has to be a link there has to be a connection with the national international forums and the research projects going on and uh, everything so you have to be really cautious of this particular thing because biotechnology cannot be studied within a bounded classroom and uh, this is absolutely related to research moving on to the fifth point the fifth point is uh, somewhat related to the fourth one you have to look for Uh, the professors what are their qualifications and uh, uh, what are the kind of research projects that they are you know leading or they are involved in uh, like uh, there are research scholars or uh, jrfs available in the department or not and uh, what are the kind of research projects that they are under that they have undertaken and uh, you know you can observe all these things and by ge getting to know these things you will be able to judge that whether that college is appropriate for studying bsc msc biotechnology or not so moving on to the sixth point as i said that uh, you have to look for professors and uh, that uh, you know how well educated they are what kind of qualifications they have such that whether they can guide you 
uh, in the research as well as in writing dissertation or thesis so i have uh, like i have taken out my thesis uh, for you guys like i said i have worked on two projects of cancer and diabetic foot ulcer so i have uh, taken out my thesis and in my upcoming videos i'll tell you how to write a synopsis how to write a thesis and how to refer to a research paper i'll show you now uh, i have also taken out certain research papers the paper i used to read they are all related to cancer or maybe diabetes and uh, how you have to search them if they are not free how you have to get them free i'll be discussing everything with you all because again i have received a lot of messages mostly in my instagram uh, inbox that how do we write it please tell us so i'll be telling you in my next video so yeah moving on to the sixth point sixth point says that you have to also look for uh, in a college that whether they promote exchange programs or not like when i was in manipal uh, people from my class they went to australia students from netherland came to you know my college and uh, studied in my classroom as a classmate so when you go on for exchange programs what happens you get a lot of exposure and moreover uh, this is something which is at a minimal cost or maybe at no cost you get stipend you get paid for it and you get an opportunity to study uh, like one or two semesters in different countries and which is pretty much good because you get exposure and ultimately you know 70 to 80 percent of the students who opt for biotechnology they wish to get a degree uh, you know later maybe uh, in masters or maybe after masters from any foreign country so this will be again beneficial as well as will be something which will uh, help you in a better way guide you in a better way because already you will be having exposure of foreign country how you can uh, you know study biotechnology further in those countries what are the process how the classrooms are held what is the research methodologies how are the lab practices and everything so when i was studying uh, we had this exchange program and uh, not all colleges have this but uh, Manipal had it and there might be other colleges too so before taking admission uh, in biotechnology BSc or MSc please make sure that you have provisions for such that provisions for these things such that in future if you want to avail it you can because you know it's a win-win kind of situation you get paid stipend and you get to study in a foreign country <laughs> what more is required so yeah moving on to the last point of the day and the last point is seventh point seventh point says that you should also look for the placements how are the placements of a college in case of biotechnology now uh, even if they don't give you direct placement no like even if they don't call the companies and uh, like you sit for the placement you get interviewed and all even if this is not the process they'll help you they'll assist you in getting placed okay so there can be an indirect process there can be a direct process so you have to uh, also look for uh, the placement cell like what are the placements from that particular college even companies know that students from this particular college they might be well equipped with all the skills and technologies related to biotechnology so they get an upper hand in case of being hired in those biotechnological companies so you know look for the reputation the ranking of the colleges and also like what kind of assistance they are given in case of placements and then choose a college so i think i have discussed these seven golden points they will definitely help you choose a good biotechnology college if you are looking for it and if you are planning to take admission in bsc msc biotechnology and yeah with this i come to the end of today's video hope you all understood hope i have cleared a lot of your doubts and uh, in case you have any further doubt you can post that easily in the comment section i'll be coming up with a new video again and i'll try to answer back each of your questions and uh, moreover uh, there are many colleges right now in a country where the admissions for biotechnology is ongoing including Manipal you can check out the forms and in case you have doubts you can post that in the comment section too so yeah 
with this i come to the end of today's video all the best to all of you uh, who is looking for a good biotechnology college all the best for your search mission uh, may you land in a great great biotechnology college biotechnology is a really interesting subject in case you have uh, you know a real interest and uh, otherwise it will turn out to be really boring and uh, so choose wisely and look into your interest and then choose a subject okay so see you in my next video till then stay tuned keep watching keep smiling and yes before that i just forgot please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to hit the bell icon and uh, share this video with your friends and hit a like okay see you in my next video till then stay tuned keep watching keep smiling bye bye take care